guys i'm back again with another video and yes i have been gone for a while but i have a reason for that my teeth tried to kill me no joke here my wisdom teeth tried to kill me they were so sore my whole face was swollen i had pain up to my temples down through my neck and i was talking with a serious lisp so it wouldn't have been the best for voiceovers so i decided to forego the video upload schedule and just come back to it when i felt better and i do i feel better it's still a bit tender and i will be getting my wisdom teeth out just after christmas touch wood that every Everything goes right all right and that I won't have any problems with them again so yeah at least that's some good out of it I'm not looking forward to it and this video is the contest winners prize she gets an illustration and this is it she wanted a girl with a cat like a creepy girl with a cat and I love that idea so I went straight into it of course it's not as good as her creepy entry honestly it's definitely not as creepy as her entry it's just a little bit creepy but I like it all the same I like the little bit of embellishment I put in her dress and I also think it's cool the way it kind of bleeds now let me tell you why i done that i wanted it to look like when you get a photograph wet and everything kind of bleeds a little bit if you've ever accidentally let moisture into a photo that's in a frame you can see the colors like mesh and meld and spread out a little bit now you can still see the people in the photo and stuff but the colors do run a little bit and i think i got that across now how i done that was i started off with the background first and i done my wash of color and then put the salt over it and i left it until it was completely nearly completely dry the outsides dry quicker than the inside because the water kind of pools on the inside so the inside was still kind of damp where I was going to be painting the girl but I didn't wait for that to dry I just went straight in started painting and it done what you see in front of me I did go in then afterwards made sure it was completely dry when I had put the little bits of color in her and I went in with my pro markers done my shading I didn't add in any highlights because I wanted it to look very neutral kind of like dark pastel shades Um, I wanted the texture in there definitely and I think the background is a lovely texture it's definitely worth the wait if you're using the salt to just sit it aside make sure it's completely dry or nearly completely dry before you even decide to touch it because it can make such a lovely texture so yeah other than that i really like the cat and the pose of the cat because she just like has it under her arm and the cat is not happy about it probably my favorite part of this picture not gonna lie so yeah i hope you like this picture this picture is going to dreaming kitten draws i will leave her link in the description down below if you want to check out her channel because she has some lovely art and you definitely should thank you so much for entering my contest honestly i truly appreciate everyone who entered my contest and i will have lots more in the future because it is my mission in life to give away everything i can afford to give away <laughs> so yeah other than that there will be something really really cool coming up on friday so you guys should stick around for that a really cool collab maybe happening on friday and also a little birdie may let slip that it's also my birthday on friday but shh, you don't know that so yeah ugh, i'm 24 on friday oh it sounds so bad but anyway i hope you guys have a great day i hope that your week is treating you well and i'll see you guys later bye